The world that we knew today is not just only orbiting around the sun, it also revolves around another axis called media. Anywhere we go and whatever we do, there is always a touch of media. Starting from the morning when we open our eyes and check our phones to see if our crush has updated a new photo in their Instagram, while our parents are watching their daily dose of morning news. Or when we saw our siblings struggling to study their thick book in accountancy. Up until we close our reddening eyes after a long binge watch to our favorite Netflix series and many more. In simple words, media refers to various means of communication that disseminates information to keep the people informed, entertained, updated to the latest happenings around us, and most importantly, educated. The media has come a long way. From the primitive way of using manuscripts, it evolves to print media, wherein with the help of the developing printing press, we have managed to produce much faster, cheaper, and reliable printed materials. And after over five centuries, we have taken a huge leap because voice media had boomed. In the early decades of the 20th century, we have invented the radio which is the first ever non-print form of mass media. Not a long year after that, television has conquered the airwaves, wherein both visual and audio media are present, which helps the people to understand the shared information much accurately. And as technology has continued to improve the development of digital code, microprocessors, and fiber optic cables made the development of digital media and the internet possible which in turn paved the way for faster communication and widened the range of accessible information. In every step that the media has taken to, from the primitive way of media up to the present digital age, there is always a noticeable common denominator behind all those developments. It is the presence of technology. The fast-moving pace of changing technology also means one more step further for the media. The invention of the printing press, radio, television, internet, and many more have influenced how and where information should be shared. It evidently proved the interrelationship between the two and the dependence of the media on technology. Moreover, technological innovation had made the media to reach more people in a wider sphere and at a greater speed. As a result, it paved the way for much faster circulation of the information and at the same time, it became more easily accessible in the media. Although the advancement of technology has truly brought in the coverage of the media, it does not mean that every people who receive the context of the information will have the same perception as others. It may vary especially depending on what region they have received that certain information. This notion has been emphasized by Marshall Mac Luhan's famous assertion that says, Medium is the message. The real message for McLuhan was not the form of content of media, but the ways the media themselves extend our senses and alter our social group. It means that the message will be determined not in the content itself, but rather the capability of the medium to extend or deliver the message. What changes the people they are using is not the content of media, but the experience of the medium itself. To put it in a much understandable manner, if an idea is presented with two people in two different mediums, their perception of the message may vary based on the notion. If the former received the message on the radio, they may have an imprecise view of the message. And since that is a one-way mode of communication and there is no visual representation, the subtleties and nuance of the message are inevitable. On the other hand, if the latter has read it in social networking sites like Facebook, where people can share and exchange their opinions with regard to that matter, they can have a much precise understanding of the information as they can see the bigger picture of the context. We can see in the scenario that the mediums have a greater impact on how do people understand and behave in the message compared to the content that was delivered through the medium. Because
because the mediums are the ones who shape the message and subsequently reshaping our social and physical perspective. These messages which shapes people's behavior are subjected to the four key roles that the media is performing in our society, which were mainly to entertain people, educate the mass, discuss significant issues, and act as a supervisor for each institution. The media brought the pleasure of being entertained or amused by a certain medium that is characterized as funny, interesting, and promotes positive emotions to cope with the negative ones. Some concrete examples are music, Netflix series, YouTube videos, and any video games that are primarily to impart, amuse, and contribute to the well-being of a viewer. Another critical role of the media is to educate the mass on a specific topic because of its inherent ability to drastically influence upon society. The convention of the books and computers to the educational system is a great example of the media as an abstract teacher for the viewer. The third in the list is the media as a public forum to start a discussion on an important issues locally, as well as the current issues around the globe. Aligned with the inherent capabilities of the media, the conveyance of the message to build public opinion, and raise awareness about prevalent issues in society is such a great role of the media itself. Lastly, the media acts as a supervisor for the numerous institutions present in society. It is vital for observing the movements of the people inside a democratic nation that helps to foster the social and economic aspect of a country wherein distinguishing the rights and wrongs are obligatory. One perfect example is the press freedom that allowing the news to receive by the public is necessary for transparency and liability for the people and the government. The roles that the media has been playing in our society have become more and more effective and efficient as the time goes by. Innovation in media and technology forbids convenience for the people. So as a result, the traditional media is gradually getting out of line. As of now, the traditional media that encompasses print media and audiovisual media is still relevant nowadays, even though digital media have completely dominated and penetrated the field. These numerous mediums provide users a wide menu of choices that can completely cater to every kind of individual in terms of age, capabilities, social status, and the generation that they belong to. Internet connection is the primary component of social and digital media. Unfortunately, not everyone can afford to have an internet in their household unless free internet access would be available for everyone. Another thing, not everyone is capable to use the technicalities or the algorithm of smartphones and computers, specifically the elderly people that prefer the convention of the newspaper. In fact, America's seniors have historically been late adopters to the world of technology compared to the younger Americans. This is according to the newly released data from the Pew Research Center. With these concrete circumstances that are vividly present in our society, I therefore conclude that the newspapers, televisions, and radio are still relevant in our 21st century era. Albeit, social and digital media beats out traditional media across the board. From the words of the great Greek philosopher named Heraclitus, the only constant in life is change. Although, change is always difficult to make and always shocks a specific group of people. Yet, it is our responsibility to comprehend that not everyone is capable to adapt for the ever-changing world.